Hi everyone, here we have made a simple engine using two soda cans. It, this engine is called a Stirling engine. Let me tell you about its parts. It consists of a flywheel, the crankshaft, the piston, the piston cylinder, connecting rods, the displacer cylinder, the displacer and a heat source such as a candle. Now let me start the engine and show you how it works. I have placed the heat source below the engine. Now let me light it. After a few seconds, I will rotate the flywheel. As you can see, the engine starts moving. Initially, it will move slowly, but as the engine heats up, it will move faster. The Stirling engine was invented by Mr. Robert Stirling in the year 1816. How does the Stirling engine work? The Stirling engine is a heat powered engine that converts thermal energy into mechanical energy. The displacer cylinder contains a small amount of air inside it. When the heat source is applied, the air below the displacer becomes hot and the air above the displacer remains cool. The heat causes the air inside the displacer cylinder to expand and increase in pressure. When the displacer moves up, this expanded air goes in the piston cylinder and moves the piston up. When the displacer moves down, the air above the displacer gets cooled and compressed, creating a low pressure which then sucks the air out of the piston cylinder and pushes the piston down. This up and down movement of the piston causes the flywheel to rotate. However, the engine does not start running automatically until it is given an initial kick start, similar to a motorcycle kick. Once the kick is given by rotating the flywheel manually, the engine sets in motion. The piston is connected to a crankshaft, which turns the flywheel. The flywheel also stores energy and helps to keep the engine running smoothly. This process of expansion and compression of air, moving the piston up and down and turning the flywheel repeats continuously as long as the heat source is maintained and there is sufficient temperature difference. If you need any help in making your Stirling engine to work, please comment below.